We are pretty sure you use WhatsApp a lot. And it's no surprise considering it's the most used messaging app on the planet. While you might be an avid WhatsApp user, chances are you're not aware of all the cool tricks hidden inside WhatsApp. Well, that's what we are here to tell you. Hi, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today let's talk about some of the latest WhatsApp tricks. Sounds interesting? Well, let's get going. First, let's talk about the new font in WhatsApp. WhatsApp recently introduced a new font that you can use in text messages. All you need to do is add three grave accent characters at the start and end of the sentence or word. iPhone owners can find the grave accent character by press holding an apostrophe. While the Android keyboard features it in the second page of symbols or punctuation. On Windows and Mac OS, you will find the character just below the escape key. Next up is using multiple WhatsApp accounts in a single Android device. You can do this on Android using the Parallel Space app. We have already covered how you can use two Snapchat accounts on one device, and you can use the same way to use two WhatsApp accounts. So make sure to check out that video. You can even use multiple WhatsApp accounts on your PC, Mac, or Chromebook using the all-in-one messenger Chrome app. Along with multiple WhatsApp accounts, the Chrome app also lets you use various different messengers in a single window. Pretty cool, right? Sadly, there's no way to use multiple WhatsApp accounts on an iPhone. To make up for that, the third trick on this list is only for iPhone users. The read receipts feature is a boon for some while not so much for others. The good news is, you can read messages on your iPhone using 3D touch to peek into the message and the read receipts will not be sent. Oh, so evil. As you might have guessed, this feature is only available for iPhones that have 3D touch enabled. Another cool trick is the ability to embed a previous text in your reply. This should be especially handy in group chats considering it can get a little confusing at times as to who someone is referring to in a group chat. To use it, you can just press hold on the message you want to quote and hit the reply button. Then type in your reply and simply send it. After which you should see the quoted text with your reply. The next trick about the annoying notification previews. Well, these previews from WhatsApp on the notification center and lock screen can be very annoying due to the simple fact that anyone who is using your phone can easily get a glimpse of your private messages. On an iPhone, you can easily stop notification previews by going to WhatsApp settings, then going to notifications and simply turning off show preview at the end of the page. On the other hand, WhatsApp does not include the ability to hide previews on Android, but you can use the OS's built-in notifications manager to hide WhatsApp's notifications. To do this, you can head over to Android settings, go to apps, then scroll down below to find WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp info page, go to notifications and select block all. Keep in mind though that this will result in no notifications from WhatsApp on your Android smartphone. Moving on, in WhatsApp's current iteration, when you try and share something to the messenger from an external source, you can only send it to a single contact or group. Well, that's about to change. As the new WhatsApp beta lets you share media or any other content to multiple groups or contacts on WhatsApp. Another iPhone only trick is the ability to check who you talk to most. Just head over to WhatsApp settings, go to account, then tap on storage use. And you will see contacts with whom you share the most messages and media. Well, now you know who your best friend is. Next is not entirely a trick or a hidden feature, but it is something many people still don't know about. And that is the ability to format text in WhatsApp. You can simply bold a sentence or a word by adding a star at the start and the end. Underscore for italics and tilde for strike through. 
Coming up next is a simple trick on checking who has read your message in a group chat. On an iPhone, all you need to do is left swipe on a message. On Android, you can press hold on the message and then tap on the info icon. Once done, you will see who has read your message along with details on when exactly they read it. The last trick is about unblocking yourself from someone's account. We don't really recommend this, but if you really need to contact someone who has blocked you, this is the only way. First, head over to WhatsApp settings, go to account, then select delete my account. Here enter your mobile number and tap on delete my account. Once your account is deleted, uninstall WhatsApp from your device. Once done, restart your Android smartphone or your iPhone. When your device restarts, install WhatsApp again from the App Store or Google Play Store. Again, enter your details and start using your WhatsApp account. Your WhatsApp account will then be unblocked from all accounts that have blocked you. However, keep in mind that all your data will be lost, including your messages, media, group chats, or anything else. Well, these were the latest WhatsApp tricks. I hope you liked them. Subscribe to our channel if you want some more cool tech videos. Hit that like button if you find these tricks amazing. And if you know of some tricks that we missed out on, let us know in the comment section below. And until next time, thank you for watching.